is it to help people starting start a piece? I want everyone. I don't know how percussion's going to do it. Okay, now let's delete the word I. Okay. Notebook. There are three words that are now not part of your lexicon when you're in front of an ensemble. I. Me. Like. Hey, what? Like and um. Oh yeah, four. Like and um. Yeah, let's get rid of those two. Try to be nice. And here's why. You have an exercise to share with them. We don't want them to feel like this is your exercise and, and you are pontificating from on high. Bless you. We always want to feel like we're collaborating. Now, when you're in the pudding, you're the teacher. So, us, let's. These are good words to use rather than I and me. Okay, so let's write it. I would also like to add we. Um, let's try this. We could do better with that kind of thing. Yep. Okay, so let's take a look at our first two notes. And let's not have any articulation with it, just a breath attack entrance. It's mm. supposed to not sound great. It's to get you focused on it. And then we'll do something else in a moment that will help with that. Okay? Strings start on the string already. Percussion, do what you think best. I never tried to percussion. Good okay, stuff. So. It's a nice breath attack. All right, let's do it again. Put the articulation back in with it. See how it feels different. Tension in the breath. Do you practice your horn in front of a mirror? Yes. Okay, and what do you notice? A lot of it. Yeah, is that something Dr. Robertson's working on? Okay, so take all of that, all those hours of practice with the horn in front of the mirror about trying to relieve the tension. Have you had Alexander technique? Yeah. Okay, and then transfer that to your conductor. Okay, and off we go again. Beginning? Thank you. transfer that idea from the warm-up into the piece. So your conducting has to remain similar to what it was in the warm-up for that to transfer. Okay? Second ictus. 
Be more clear with the tone you're trying to evoke. Take a more aesthetic approach than a technical approach. Make sense? Sometimes clarity is not what we want to do. We have to decide when we need it. change it on the fly in front of your friends. That's, that's impressive, okay? Did you see the tension kind of relieved? Mm -hmm. And when he started to travel more and not be quite so clear, not only was the tone better, but they played better together. Mm -hmm. That's partly because they're really good players, but it's also partly, part of less is more is, you trust that you show them the bare minimum of what they need, and you trust that they're going to do the rest, which you did and they did. It was very good on a number of levels. Very good. Comments, please. Sorry. <laughs> Rachel. Hey. Um, I noticed how, like when he made the comment about you being angry in your face, and then just now when we did it that last time, I saw you start to make an angry face, and you're like, wait, no, and you went back to your original facial expression. So that was, there you go. I really appreciated the eye contact. Mm -hmm. It really helped me like bring out like the eight notes. I'd say just like having the knowledge that you have about your ensemble, these are all trained musicians and a lot of them have, have even had like Alexander Technique class. So we're all like pretty aware of, of tension and things like that. So if, if we see tension in you, then we're gonna feel somewhat of a disconnect because we're thinking about tension. If we see that our conductor isn't so much thinking about it, then we don't feel that connection. So if you just eliminate that, then that's one more variable out of the way to where we can just make music, yeah. So yeah, that's my comment. In your warm up, always trained so we know not to like just smack the note but just be careful with that notebook i'm glad you brought that up since you got it. and it's okay it's not necessarily a bad thing uh, austin yeah